Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Computer Videos. Uh, I had a bunch of people ask me, and they were like, hey, um, those images that you just released for the PC compatibility card, which, to remind you, is that 12-inch or 7-inch uh, card that Apple released like nearly 30 years ago. The whole plan of that was that it was supposed to uh, be set up to where you could have um, like Windows or whatever you wanted to do on your Mac, uh, so you could use those things side by side. And it, it's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I've been playing around with one for a while. Um, but uh, a bunch of people were like, hey, the, the DOS compatibility card, that's the one I've got. Um, you know, so that's the one for like the Quadra 610 or the Power Mac 6100. And they were like, hey, do these new images work on that? And I'm like, I don't know. Um, so I thought I might as well test them. And if uh, there needs to be any drivers installed or anything like that, maybe just as a service to the community, crank that out. Uh, so that way that uh, it'll just be done and people can just use them and get to the fun part and not have to do all the drudgery. So uh, what I learned is Windows 95 on a 486, not too bad. Um, it works pretty okay. Um, Windows 98 on a 486, not so much. And that's going to need a lot more uh, troubleshooting and time and trouble uh, with me playing around with it. So, uh, But I wanna, what I wanted to show you tonight is I wanted to show you um, not this uh, PC print spooler issue, which I'll have to take a look at. That's just Mac on this machine. But um, this is what I really wanted to show you. So let's go ahead and let's switch over to the PC environment. Um, let's abort that RAM test. Um, and that is something else to know. 32 megabytes of RAM, that's the max, supposedly is the maximum amount of RAM that the Apple DOS compatibility card supports. Um, don't try to put an EDO DIMM in there, it won't work. Oh, what do you know? Um, that's on me, because I, I didn't shut it down properly last time. Um, but you'll hear the good news here in a second, and I'll show you some other stuff as well. I do, I do like how the uh, the scaling has pushed the window way over. It's like, whoa, dude, stay back. But uh, get ready for the dulcet tones of the Windows 95 Storm of China. And that's it. So, uh, but kind of the nice thing is that uh, now it actually has all of the drivers installed. Uh, for the various uh, bits and bobs of hardware in there, um, which uh, the default images and stuff that I put out there on the garden don't have all that. Um, I At least if you try to run the stuff on the 486 card, because it you know it's Windows, so it has to re-detect everything. So I just went through, and it's got... It's got the chips and bits Super VGA driver, so you can play around with that. It's got like the actual ports show up. Uh, the Sound Blaster works. Everything is there. It's really great. Um, the only thing, uh, mouse and stuff works. That's really good because that's kind of an issue on that blue and white machine that I was playing around with. But I think that's just the ADB implementation and how that was like way outside of what you were supposed to be doing with those cards. But anyway, that works. So. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and I'll get this out on the garden and I'll uh, keep playing around with um, with all the stuff to see if I can get it uh, the Windows ninety eight uh, image kind of working. Uh, I'll make sure that on the garden that this one specifically denotes that it's for the DOS compatibility card, so that way that uh, people don't get confused because there'll be a couple of different downloads out there. But anyway, that is it. Under five minutes. I just wanted to make this a quick little video. Uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, taking a few minutes, spending it with me this evening, and as I always say, Apple II forever.